John Locke, writer from the early days of the American nation, the thoughts that come often unsought and, as it were, drop into our mind are commonly the most valuable of any we have. I think what John Locke is saying is that thoughts that come unsought, you might be thinking about a particular topic, you might be studying something, and suddenly a fresh new thought about that just seems to come from nowhere. Some people say it just dropped into my mind. I like to believe that in cases like that, it was God placing them in my mind. But that happens to us. And I think what Locke was saying is that at those moments, those become the most valuable of any we have. It's because they launch us into a new arena of fresh thought, actively thinking. A thought is a seed. Thought as a verb is a process. So the seed gives us the foundation for launching a process of thinking, of thought, that can be absolutely invaluable to us. I have a statement that I'd like to say I read it every day, but I don't. But most days I do. Most days, if I'm at my office and I have my computer turned on, if it's working, and it is, I read this thought. It says this, that I will provoke the nest of reason so I may be stung by the splendor of a sudden thought. Well, how do you provoke the nest of reason? Oh, where's the nest of reason? Here. How do you provoke it? By thinking, by studying, by learning something new, seeing something new, discovering something new, hearing something new, and then processing it through thought. That's the way you provoke the nest of reason. And again, I will provoke the nest of reason so I may be stung by the splendor of a sudden thought. So sudden thoughts that come, often they come in times of conversation with dear friends. I thank God for the friends that I have that I can sit down with and just talk about things because it produces those sudden stings and they're not painful, but they sure do wake you up. Stingers of sudden thought that flash into your mind illuminate the horizon and give you a new direction, and a new elevation, a, a, a new hope, a higher aim in life. Once again, I will provoke the nest of reason so I may be stung by the splendor of a sudden thought. How do I do that? I will read good things. I will meditate upon what I read. I will study because I need to learn it. I will view things. Some things you don't learn by reading, you view them. Use your computer. Use the television for something besides entertainment and wasting your time. I will view it. I will listen. I love to hear people talk. I love to hear their intellects. I, 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 I love to hear people going so deeper than themselves. Sometimes it's almost like you can hear the gears of their mind grinding against one another. I love that. I will not close my mind to things, but I will guard my mind against all things. I choose what comes in here, not what's out there. I choose. And because of that, once again, I will provoke the nest of reason so I may be stung by the splendor of a sudden thought. Oh, to be stung daily. Make it a good day.